everything that we know of the console as well as comparing it to the PS4 Pro spec wise. But before we jump into the specs, the Xbox One X will be released worldwide November 7, 2017 at $499. Specification wise, the CPU is an x86 8-core processor running at 2.3 GHz compared to PS4 Pro's 8-core CPU running at 2.1 GHz. However, the CPU is 60 nanometers, and the console has other tricks up its sleeve. Unlike industry standard power management, the Xbox One X has a custom system named the Hovis method that ensures that power is delegated where and when necessary to ensure the console is running at optimum efficiency at all times. And this is a first for any games console. The console has 6 teraflops of graphical processing power clocked at 1.172 GHz whereas the PS4 Pro has 4.2 teraflops running at 911 MHz. The Xbox One X holds 12 GB of GDDR5 memory. Now this is a massive leap forward compared to the current Xbox One's measly 8 GB of DDR3 graphics memory. Honestly, I've always felt the Xbox One was horribly underpowered. Compared to the Xbox One X's 12GB to the PS4 Pro's 8GB of GDR5 memory however, games on the Xbox One X will take advantage of that larger pool of graphical memory. Additionally, the Xbox One X has 326GB of memory bandwidth compared to PS4 Pro's 218. This means the Xbox One X has 108 extra gigs of memory bandwidth, which means the Xbox One X will be able to draw higher quality images on screen at a much faster rate compared to the PS4 Pro, giving the Xbox One X a leverage in graphical performance. This isn't just about making games look pretty, it's also about making games run at their best, at peak performance, with higher frame rates, super high quality textures, etc. being drawn at ridiculous speeds, which is beyond any other console that we have today. And it doesn't just stop there. Microsoft went the step ahead by using liquid cooled vapor chamber technology, which is a first for any console ever made. It is kind of a big deal. <laughs> I'm not going to go into great detail, but a vapor chamber is designed to cool high-end components such as a GPU or a CPU very efficiently thanks to its remarkable design of spreading heat, making it an extremely efficient cooling system. However, you don't see it often because a vapor cooling chamber is also very expensive, while you'd only see it on premium products where you're willing to pay for that luxury and Microsoft are selling the Xbox One X as a premium console. It's a monster as they say and to keep a monster calm and cool you'll need one brilliant and reliable cooling system. So that $499 price tag honestly for a complete system actually sounds quite reasonable when you think about it. And unlike the PS4 Pro, the Xbox One X will also support Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray as well, just like the Xbox One S. And don't worry for those of you who may not be purchasing an Xbox One X straight away, or may decide to keep your current Xbox One, because you won't be left behind. There will be no exclusive Xbox One X games. There are no compatibility issues between the current Xbox One and the Xbox One X. They both work together seamlessly. Only difference is the Xbox One X has more powerful hardware. But it gets even better. If you play any current Xbox One titles on the Xbox One X, they'll look and perform better than ever. Fast loading times, smoother frame rate and more. Hence why they promote Enhanced on the Xbox One X. And you don't even need a 4K TV. It's great if you have one, but if you don't, it's okay because Microsoft have thought of everything since the Xbox One X has a system called Super Sampling. That means games will look visually sharper and better overall even on a 1080p TV as well. However, with all that power, the Xbox One X is remarkably the smallest Xbox in size as well. 
You can see from these various photos, shout out to CNET as they took the pictures, and the console looks gorgeous in my opinion, and you can see how it compares size-wise to the Xbox One S. You'll also notice how there are no ventilation holes on the top. That's probably due to the high-tech cooling system, and even the back of the machine looks really nice. Overall, if I must sum up the Xbox One X, it is beauty meets beast, and it is your gateway in getting the richest experience for console gaming.